Charlotte County residents enjoy one of the most unique ecosystems in Florida. The rivers, canals, and environmentally sensitive land surrounding our community make it a great place to live or to visit. It is our responsibility to protect these natural resources from contamination. This complex system provides water to our homes, our crops, and our recreation, and contamination from failing septic systems can wreak havoc on our delicate ecology. Preventing bacterial contamination from septic systems has become a top priority as we have seen many once rural areas become urban neighborhoods. As the map behind me shows, Charlotte County is full of canals that run all the way through the county and lead down to Alligator Bay and to the Peace River and Mayaka Rivers. This type of development is beautiful, but without an infrastructure, we can damage the environment. Charlotte County grew through a sprawling development. In other words, people could build their houses wherever they wanted to, and with no programmed growth of sewer lines and water lines, these septic tanks filled the county where we wound up with 45,000 septic tanks along all these canals. So septic tanks by themselves can be a viable uh, means of waste disposal. Too many septic tanks are disastrous because the ground, just like that septic field, can only handle so many nutrients per day. The ground in Charlotte County can only handle so much effluent and so much bacteria and so many chemicals per day. And what happens, as we've seen lately with all the rainfall, the soils around the septic tanks get saturated with the chemicals and the bacteria. We have this heavy rain and we have washouts into the uh, lakes, into the streams, into the canals, and this all winds up down at Port Charlotte Beach where we see that we had to post warnings for uh, fecal coliform bacteria. Central sewage is a preferred method of wastewater disposal in many areas of the county. However, due to the high cost of construction and treatment central sewage systems are not practical for all communities. Septic systems are essentially mini waste treatment plants and they must receive periodic maintenance. The most common reason septic tanks fail is not maintaining them properly, putting the wrong things down the drains, and not having them pumped regularly. Many homeowners wait until it's too late and the damage to the environment is already done. Right, the bad thing about the septic tank is that it can be leaking for years without anyone knowing it because it's actually filtering down into the groundwater. Uh, you can have the concrete holes around the outlet just break a hole right around the normal outlet and then the effluent is just going into the soil. Uh, you can have the drain field being clogged where the junction box is just leaking and then the effluent is not getting down into the drain field flowing properly. Once the drain field is saturated, the homeowner knows it. That's when usually you get the neighbor complaining and the health department receives a nuisance complaint because it's just so saturated that all the waste comes up to the ground level. Septic tank systems in Charlotte County are regulated, permitted, and inspected by the Charlotte County Health Department, a division of the Florida Department of Health. Systems that malfunction are inspected and compliance is enforced to prevent contamination of the groundwater. Right. Unfortunately, many septic tanks here in Charlotte and the uh, Spring Lake area had to be replaced because they were never maintained, and these are the older tanks. So if a tank is maintained, you're talking $115 for five years and a, around $200 for a pump out. Uh, replacing a septic tank can be between two and $3,000, and then the drain fuel can be another $5,000. So it's very costly not to maintain your septic tank or to abuse it and cause it to fail. Maintaining a septic system is easy. Watch your drains. What goes down your drain can affect how well your septic tank works. The following should never be flushed or dumped down any drain to the septic tank. Disposable diapers, chemicals, cooking oil, cigarette butts, coffee grounds, dirt, drugs, medicine, kitty litter, condoms, gloves, paper towels, feminine hygiene products, or food scraps. Care for your drain field. The drain field is an important part of your septic system. Plant only grass over and near your system. Do not drive or park a vehicle on any part of your septic system. Have it inspected by a professional every three years and pumped every three to five years. Use water efficiently. 
The more water a household conserves, the less water that enters the system, improving the operations and reducing risk of failure. When they inspect the septic tank, first of all, the tank uh, area is looked over. Make sure there's no evident leaks. The drain field, the tank itself, uh, the pipe coming from the home. Then the tank is opened up and the initial inspection of the tank uh, lid area is performed. The tank is then pumped dry so that the inner surfaces can be uh, looked at, the inlet and the outlet. And this uh, usually depicts any damage that is in, evident in the tank. The type of permit and inspections differ depending on what type of septic system you have. There are two types of septic tanks in Charlotte County. The basic uh, baseline system, which the five-year program would uh, maintain. The other type of septic tank is an aerobic treatment unit. These were also mandated by the Department of Community Affairs. And these are more intricate because they actually have a motor that runs all the time. It has a pump that pumps oxygen into the septic tank. These require a yearly permit from the health department and a contract with a maintenance entity on a yearly basis. And those can be more costly. Well, as we all know, we all moved here because of the beauty of Charlotte County. Uh, whether we were fishermen, sportsmen, bikers, walkers, or just love to go to the park, we appreciate what we have. And by partnering through these maintenance programs, we can all help preserve what's there now. And in a period of time, it'll get better because by cleaning the septic tanks up, we'll be able to clean up the canals and we'll get programs with the health department now inspecting all the waterways once a month. And this monitoring will allow the county to work at cleaning up the whole area and do away with some of the damage that's been done for years. For more information about septic systems, log on to charlottechd.com. For more stories like this, tune in to Charlotte Showcase, a half-hour magazine show produced for you by CCTV 20.